Hey, welcome everyone, it's Game Dog Gamer. Uh, there is a FOV tweak for Witcher 3. The game's out just one day right now, and uh, well, the game doesn't have an FOV uh, adjuster, un very unfortunately, because it's nauseating on a PC close up, for me anyway, so I thought I'd show you here. You have to use Cheat Engine. You go to the Cheat Engine forums and they're they're working on all sorts of tweaks for it. One of, for Witcher 3, one of which is a FOV. But uh, here's sort of the default FOV, up roughly. But you use the plus and minus keys on your numeric keypad and you can... has the effect uh, of pulling the camera back, which is very needed as well. Well, it, it's a, it looks like it's pulling the camera back, but it's not. Um, so the Cheat Engine 6.4, or at least the current one. One tip with Cheat Engine, uh, you might want to pull when you download it. And you <laughs> oh, look, I'm on fire. You uh, pull the, uh, the RAR. When you download Cheat Engine, there's some open candy, which is sort of like spyware. It surveys the software on your system and sends it to the somewhere on the internet. You, but you can, there's an alternate download. It's just a RAR file with no setup. I had difficulty getting this working um, because the um, the Witcher process. I'm using the GOG version um, of Witcher 3 here, and anyway, the the process for Witcher 3 really forces itself to the foreground and once it's in the background it doesn't like to return to the foreground I'm using N NVIDIA uh, GTX 970s and SLI. Oh here are the stats up in the top left you can see uh, Oh there we go um, Anyway I had a hard time just I had to move the process to windowed and lower the resolution down then I could alt tab over to cheat engine and then I it was difficult but I've managed to eventually get it back in the foreground and full screen that was the hardest thing about changing the FOV was if uh, alt tabbing to uh, the cheat engine and you have to put an uh, X on each of the uh, FOV you have to enable the uh, cheat while the process is running the, the the cheat says it only works with Steam version, or it said Steam version. It didn't say it would only work with it, but it worked anyway with the GOG version of Witcher 3 here. Uh, but you can uh, go you can go very wide here with the FOV, sort of like reminiscent of uh, the early when we used to play Quake 1. <laughs> People would put their FOVs like this so they could see their surroundings. <laughs> this is crazy. Woo! That is awesome. Oh. Anyway, this is very needed. This uh, FOV tweak for Witcher 3 on PC. Yeah, that's a reasonable setting right there. I can see my feet. You know. It's a really, it is, so far I'm very impressed. I think, you know what people aren't talking about? Is the audio quality I think is really good in this game. There is a bit too much wind. I mean, there's some minor complaints. Uh, certainly, some console feel to it at times. Especially, I think the FOV is one of the worst. Uh, the lack of a FOV slider really hurt the game. But it's an excellent game overall. I think so far, really the. The writing is good, and the uh, voice acting is wonderful. There's so much to like about the game. Like a, like many M MMOs, this something like this would just look like manic uh, like puppet, uh, or what do you call them? Just uh, like those Christmas displays you see the the robotic, but this doesn't look robotic. These characters are animated quite well. All right. Check out the uh, cheat engine FOV tweak. I think it's King essential for this game. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks for watching. This is Game.Gamer. <laughs>